finish you. Hey guys, I'm Nickmeister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Absolution. And the next stop on our journey is Birdie's Gift? What? What could that guy possibly give us, huh? Mobile Command Center. Now, I gotta say, this is uh, an awful lot bigger than I, I pictured, uh, you know, the agency being. I always thought it was very uh, secretive and small. And, uh, Sir, I think huh. you need to see this. It's quite a tattoo. Sir, you really need to see this. Why? What? Can't you see I'm smoking it's a here? Gift from smoking an old connection. inside. It's been off the grid for a couple of years now. Codename Birdie. <laughs> we codenamed a guy Birdie. No wonder he went off the grid. Did they name him that and then he got into birds or was he into birds and that's why they named him that? It's weird. Okay. What is, what is this guy in a fucking hazmat suit? What? What? Not really that surprised, are you? Give the bird man what he wants. <sighs> you find 47 at any cost. At any cost. Even a billion dollars. And she's smirking because she's gonna she's gonna embezzle all that cash. That's gross. Look at all those fucking feathers. And <laughs> he drew a bird taking a shit. That's great. That's a really classy birdie. Ugh. Yeah, if I sound a little more irritable than normal, it's because it's about 98 degrees in Boston right now, and my room that I'm recording this in doesn't have any air conditioning, and I turned off the fan so it wouldn't interrupt my... Huh. Those things look kind of familiar. Let's take a closer look. Oh, yeah, there they are. Mmm. I can, I can just taste it. What? They're mine. Yeah, you tell them. Mm. Not unless you got a receipt. Oh, look at Grandpa Vader over here I trying to be a tough guy. Him. Yeah, we could just take him. I'll kill your ass. You don't look much like a thief. It wouldn't be stealing. Mm-hmm. Ugh. You need a scarf or something. <laughs> on the girl. What? Is that laughing? Any of me ain't got shit on my sweet lily. Let's see what you got. Was that guy laughing? Is that was that what that was supposed to be? Or something? I I don't know. Oh, look at that smug bastard walking off. We shouldn't have to out shoot anyone. These are our fucking guns. Hey, how's it hanging, huh? Oh, leave me alone, you fucking jerk. So here they are. Uh, hey Seems man, to be some know. paper or something lying under on. them, too. I can't seem to find any shotgun ammo. Should be stocking back. Okay, so yeah, look, before we get started, we gotta stock up on ammo and we gotta listen to well, some you know, silly conversations. Some I know we ain't got none oh, the so huh. strap yourselves <laughs> in. A metal pipe here. Really? All of it. In one day. Yeah. And He's been cussing like a rabid dog all day, too. Oh, really? Dang, city folk got no manners. Yeah. Oh, yeah, those city I, I folks. Hey, dang, hey, where'd you get the I do that. From, man? But that every other guy? word? Well, that's just childish and immature. Well, that's how we do it in the big city, yeah, city douchebag, you fucking words, prick. Making them real special. Asshole. That's not how people talk in real Oh, my life. shoes. That's the truth. So when in the hootenanny are you ever going to get stocked up on ammo again? <laughs> In a day or two, and that's true. Okie dokie. I'll just till around a bit and see if I can find something special for the kids. Maybe a little pistol, like a thirty-eight. And I guess, right. I guess that last line is supposed to be uh, like a a parody or a satire. But honestly, that's probably a conversation that's happened quite a few times in a gun shop. All right, silly conversation number two. Uh, there you go, baby. Ooh, aren't you beautiful now? <laughs> uh huh. Oh yeah. Look at that shine. Huh. Oh, got something in my teeth. 
Yeah, you're gleaming, baby. Uh, are you a hungry gun, huh? Is it time for daddy to load you? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's not too many things more beautiful than a relationship between a man and his sidearm. Oh. Yeah. All right. Silly conversation number three coming up. Uh, da -da -da. Help you, miss? Hi. Are you sure you want to oh, talk to her? It kind of looks like she's from a big city. Well, it's a gun you wouldn't want to sell a gun to a big city you know, slicker now, would you? You know, oh, we got to get that thing, but I'll leave that for later. Can I try one? Yeah. Just, uh, Actually, I, co I probably could have gotten it right now when his back was turned, but I wasn't really thinking about that. I was thinking about recording this uh, this little conversation here. Oh, those are nice confederate hat. You know, Fucking yeah, traitors. Be careful, toys are not guns. Yes, they are. They're the funnest guns. They're the funnest toys of all. At least I assume so. I've never actually fired a gun before, but it looks fun. Hmm. What about that big hmm. one? That is a nice choice. Yeah, those sure are some signs. Your Caso TRG, developed for taking down big game a long distance with, might I add, superb precision. You mentioned big game. <laughs> you know that lady looks awfully familiar. Anything. Like we've seen her somewhere before, maybe in the Terman's Hotel. That's very interesting. Um, are people considered big game? Um. What are you specifically interested in? I'm gonna take a few laps around here while I'm waiting for these people to finish up. Uh, competition, hunting. I think this lady's supposed to be the, a different lady from the one in the hotel who's angry at her husband, but I like to pretend like uh, it is her and she's just looking to buy a gun. Which I species? Mean, why would she come all the way to South Dakota to buy a gun? To kill her husband in Chicago? I don't know. But that's what I like to believe. Still sings. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Dead sure. Okay, uh. Well then, why don't you take a good look around the shop? Maybe there's something a little more suited for your purpose. No point buying more gun than you need. I suppose not. I think I'm gonna take a look around. I truly thank you for your help. Ralph, uh-huh. Any other questions? Just fire them on Whoa, 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 whoa. I mean, just, you know, ask. Yeah, I don't know. Don't, don't give her any ideas, dude. Gotta be careful around that one. Alright. So, uh, we gotta get our guns back, and, well, our key to all this, well, not to everything, but you'll see that later, is, oh. Wait, where the fuck am I going? Oh, right. So, we want to get that guy away from the desk. Like I said before, I could have snuck around when he was dealing with that lady planning to murder her husband, but, uh, well, this is another way. So, you break that fuse box, it gets a little dark in here, and he has to go back and figure it out. And, uh, just making sure there's no one around the corner. I'm going to pick up this key card here. There we go. And that's going to let us into the bunker out back. Oh. Hey, there's a revolver with a pink uh, handle on it. Oh, it. Makes me feel pretty. All right. Let's get around here. You got to be very careful not to let anyone on the shooting range see us. Because if they see us, they'll start shooting at us. Because, I don't know, maybe they think we're going to steal some of the paper targets or something. I don't know. There we go. And there's some goodies inside here. There's this baby right here. Yeah, the Ultra Max. Gonna fuck some shit up with that. And here is the combination to the, the safe we haven't even seen yet. And we could get that off of Mr. McGarmond himself. If I was feeling particularly murder-tastic. Huh, that's a lot of toilet paper. And a slop bucket, too. This is pretty fucking gross. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Right. Uh, I think there's something else uh, we can get. Let's go over here. Actually, we're going to pick up a Kazo TRG. The gun that lady was eyeing back there. And, uh... Here's our would-be competition if we weren't just stealing the guns outright. I mean, not stealing. Taking back is what I mean. 
Okay, let's go back here. Let's slow down. We don't want these people to see us. And, uh... uh oh, well, there's Mr. McGarmond. Like I said, we could kill him. We could push him off the balcony right here and then take the, the combination off his body, but... Oh, I, I kind of have a soft spot for, for Granddaddy Vader, you know? It's, Oh, hold on. Huh. Stop staring at me, you twisted little It's fairy. Lynch. What? Uh, Lynch, I think those are gnomes actually. I think I think that's the uh the proper the proper terminology for the What? You're not going to shoot the gnomes, are you? Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Just a minute. What did I tell you about my gnomes? Stop, it, okay? Oh, buddy, I I'd be really careful around this guy. He's fucking nuts. He's crazier than I am. Alright, so, over here on the left is Mr. McGarman's office, and, uh, the safe is in here. And inside the safe is the key to the display case that holds our precious silver ballers. Just making sure there's no one sneaking up on us. There we go. And we can just sneak right through this vent here. And no one will see us. Nice. Hmm. Shooting ducks, huh? Hey, you hear old Lenny's back? Oh, shit. Been nice and quiet without that cow pie. Yeah, but what can you do? Put a shotgun up his ass and blow his brains out? <laughs> or a goddamn bullhorn right up the crack of that boy's ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's... Probably like that. <laughs> yeah, I can think of two more people that might like that, too. Alright. Let's get out of here. All these hicks. All these hillbillies. Let's just leave. And here they are. But, you know, it's kind of unsatisfying. I mean, that was awfully short, you know? I kind of feel like I want to prove myself, you know? Earn them back. After all I've been through... Oh, look at that smug bastard. I'll, I'll show you a thing or two. No girl's gonna outshoot me. Let's, let's look at the scores first. All right, Lily, Lily McGarmond is up on top. Okay, a lot of names here. Wait, hold on a second. Lenny Dexter and what? what? <laughs> Someone wrote Limp Dick. <laughs> Limp Dick Lenny. All right, let's talk to Lily McGarmond here. Well, hey there, cowboy. I hear you're up for a match. Yeah. Go on ahead and pick out any gun you want from that store over there. Once you've picked out your piece, come on back and we'll rumble. And don't worry about ammo. As long as you're competing, you can use all you want. Okay, and that wasn't awkward at all. Um, right. So, here's the other way to get our guns back. The second option, the honest option, I guess. Hey, we got matching pistols. All right. Now I feel just like Lily. So, uh, here's an annoying part of the game, in my opinion. Um, you want to aim for headshots, and you want to hit the red part of the target. And that gets you the most points. 20 points, that is. If you hit anything else, uh, well, you're going to lose. Because, uh, Lily's score is awfully high. Now, uh, when the game tells you you can use point shooting, you know multiple targets are coming up. So, using the point shooting is pretty important to, to winning, uh, winning this stage. Although I'm sure that, uh... I'm sure that there are plenty of people out there with videos getting a million points or whatever with no focus at all, but hey. Oh, got four targets here. For some reason they thought it was a good idea to have the NPCs saying something every single time you shot a target. So, one thing I'd like to mention is that, uh, in the game, in the, in the in the in the single player campaign that is, uh, Lily 
Lily's last name is McGarman, which makes sense. She's most likely the granddaughter of uh, Granddaddy Vader over here. But in the uh, in the the contracts mode, where you can make your own contract, her name is actually uh, is actually Lily Dukes, like Dukes of Hazard, I guess. It's kind of odd. It's kind of like that guy from the Terminus stage whose name is Joe, but they give him another name. And in case you haven't realized by now, I, I lose this round. Why you try again with a different guy? And uh, you know, Lily's Lily's nice about it though. She doesn't gloat, you know. But uh. I think I'm gonna try a different gun, like she said. So, I just shot that gnome, and we're gonna get poor Lynch in a little bit of trouble here. What did I just tell you? Do not shoot the goddamn gnome! That wasn't exactly my fault. <laughs> Look at you, buddy. I'm pretty sure I didn't shoot him. Did I? You got a fucking grip, Lynch. <laughs> poor, poor Lynch. Huh. He's got quite a collection of pills over here. They look awfully two-dimensional. Let's take a closer look. Zolta dots. Will make your wrist loose? What? Oh, Lynch. Oh, Lynch. Swiffle dots. This type of medicine requires lots and lots of small writing that you cannot see in-game. Ha 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 And they forgot a space right there. Oh. Highly addictive and may cause bad stomach. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Viganozo will make your head spin if going beyond daily recommended use. Oh, Lynch. Well, at least he is medicating. Well, calm down, dude. Alright, so we gotta shoot another gnome before uh, this hillbilly over here will kick out Lynch. Goodbye, mushroom eater. The way I see it, this is just revenge for Kane and Lynch 2. <laughs> what ponytail? What are you talking about? <laughs> I suppose that was Santa Claus coming down a chimney, huh? Oh, poor Lynch. But we get the shotgun, and I think it's the only place you can get the shotgun in the level. And it's going to help us out a little bit with beating Lily's challenge. I missed a box here. So ma... Log what? I'm not good at reading upside down. Waffle Boys, huh? I wonder what the Waffle Boys are. Kind of sounds like an Adult Swim thing, you know? Oh, Lynch. Cheer up. They'll make a Kane and Lynch 3 someday. I know. They'll, they'll make it someday. I promise. No, they're not going to make it. <laughs> they're not going to make that game. <laughs> Alright. Let's get back to uh, the booth here. So, did you win? Have you beaten my sweet Lily? I'm going to shoot you right in your smug fucking face. Oh, oh, oh I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, phew. That was close. Alright, let's try again. So... Uh, with the shotgun, um, we can get multiple hits. I don't think any other gun can do that. Um, it does suffer when you shoot at range, though. But if you get a bullseye, you can get an additional 10 points or so. Of course, there we go. It is possible to get bullseyes at range with the shotgun. It's just pretty difficult. And I'm not, I'm not sure what, I'm not sure what I was doing right here. God damn. So, one thing uh, to keep in mind about the shotgun is that the point shooting is very, very slow. It's, it's slower than, uh, slower than the shooting. So, yeah. Never, ever, ever use point shooting with a shotgun. I'll be showing off, uh, I'll be showing off that, 
Okay. But the problem with the shotgun is that if you don't take your time to aim, you, you get, like, no points at all. It really sucks. Oh. And here I am trying to use the, the point shooting again. And then I make it worse by putting another shot in there. God, so slow. And they, they've already moved down. Jesus. Yeah, nice. Well, in case you haven't realized by now, I don't win this one either. At this point, I was contemplating whether or not to just shoot everyone down in a fit of rage and then take my guns back, but... God, I'm sweating like a pig right now. And like I said, Boston, Massachusetts, 98 degrees. No fan, no air conditioner. Sweating my balls off. So, I finally decided to go with the, the Ultra Max here. I guess the easiest way to beat this challenge is to pick a gun with long range, good accuracy, and a very large clip. And that meets all those criteria. All right, fireworks, sweet. Makes me feel special. Dang, you beat me fair and square. Damn right I did, lady. <clears throat> With my fucking LMG. In case you're wondering, you get the same exact cutscene whether you beat Lily or you steal them, whatever. All right, come to Papa. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, they feel good in your hands, don't they? Oh, ho another dirty-ass letter from Birdie. Alright. Next up is, uh, Mr. Texas Man, whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> Alright, so now that we've got our, our silver ballers, we can get out of this place for good. Alright, the only thing left to do is to sneak out the door. Wrong door. There we go. Alright, so that was Birdie's gift. And it was quite a gift after all. And I still didn't get that Technique upgrade. I'm not really sure why that is. Maybe I need to play it at a higher difficulty or something? I don't know. And of course, there's a bunch of shit here to get. So, I'm Nick Meister, and this is Let's Play Hitman Absolution. I'll see you next time. Stay tuned for a little extra bit, I think. Yeah. Stay tuned for that. Birdie. He took my silver ball as his payment for his services. Now he's giving them back. For some reason, he's reaching out. Can I trust him?
or has its allegiance shifted towards more lucrative business partners. No matter. Before I go after Lenny, I will reclaim my weapons. I have been adrift for too long. 